Hey there guys, Christian Mo here again. I want to talk to you some more about Project Stingray. Specifically, I want to have a discussion about how this whole project came to exist to start with, and where in the hell all these parts are coming from. So, first things first, this is not some sort of sponsored project. I've gotten a couple of questions on that, if this is some sort of sponsored thing that some company is paying for, and that we've just done a really terrible, terrible job of disclosing that. So that is not a thing. Nobody's paying me, nobody's paying Gorvette for him. Like, that's not a thing. What is happening is I've got some companies who are loaning parts and some people who are donating parts. Those are your key two words to know. We have loan and we have donation. Nothing is sponsored. So now let's talk about how the project happened and why I have the parts that I have. So firstly, as a freelance writer, I exist basically on Red Bull and Terrible Decisions. And then I lubricate this whole machine with scotch in the after hours. So one night after a drink, I was sitting here at the computer and I thought, you know, I'd like to have a new gaming machine. I've got a 4K monitor and my video card doesn't quite have enough power to play the newest games on it. Like I can't play Project Cars at 4K with my current com computer. It just won't run it. It ran Grid Autosport when that came out great, but newer games like Project Cars, it just doesn't have enough power to push that. And then with VR headsets coming out and all this sort of cool, crazy stuff that's happening with VR racing, I definitely don't have the power for that. So I thought, man, I'd really like to have a new computer. So I started looking at parts and I stumbled across that case from NZXT and I went, oh man, I look kind of like a Corvette on that angle and on that angle. Because I'm a gadget nerd and a gaming nerd and a car nerd, anytime I have a chance in my brain to merge all those things together, it just happens. So I thought, oh, that's a cool thing. It could be a Corvette computer. And I thought that would just be cool. Then I had another glass of scotch and I thought, I'm going to draw it up in Photoshop. Hooray! And so at like one o'clock in the morning, I put this thing in Photoshop and drew it up. And that's the thing you've seen on site. That's the black and the white cases with the little Jake logo on them and the uh, Corvette cross flags. Like that's the thing I did that night. I thought it was cool. And in our company chat room, I just like sent that to one of my editors. I'm like, ha, I did this thing last night. I think it's sort of silly. I thought you would find it entertaining. They thought it was cool. And they said, maybe you should write about it. Since they pay me to write about things, they're like, write things. So I did. When we posted it up on site, you guys went nuts about it. There was a ton of discussion. Some of it bad, some of it good, but there was a big discussion. There was a lot of talk. So I thought, well, okay, maybe we should try and find some way to do other things with this. And that's when I thought, man, I should really actually try to build this. And I did that wonderful thing that you guys always do when Cor we know when Chevy announces a new Corvette, they put the car configurator up. You just hop online, you're like, I'm gonna get that color and I'm gonna get that option, I'm gonna get the competition seats and I gotta have the black wheels. Like you just sort of go through that list of things you want. Well, that's what I did for this project. I thought, well, okay, it'll be cool to name it Project Stingray after the Corvette Stingray because C7, duh. Well, what kind of parts would I put in it? I'm like, well, I wanna do VR and 4K, so I need at least two video cards and I want those ones because they're the most powerful ones you can get. And then I'm going to need a big motherboard to put them all in. Oh, that one. It fits my color scheme and I like that company. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, oh, I got to put this SSD in there. And you just sort of like make that list. Once I had that list together, I just started calling these companies. Along with doing car news and reviews and stuff, I also do gadget news and reviews and stuff. So I have contacts with these people in the business. And I said, hey, I'm working on this project. I'm trying to build a super cool computer for simulation racing that'll be good for 4K and VR and maybe three monitor setups and that sort of stuff. Do you have any parts? Here's what I want. That's the key right there. Here's what I want. That's how this whole thing came together because I told you guys I want to build this thing right. So I called Gigabyte and I'm like, hey, I want to build a computer in a white case with white motherboard stuff. You make a white motherboard. Can I use that? And they said, sure. And they're sending me a display unit that they take to like computer shows and stuff. So it's not like they sent me some brand new one. I'm just getting a, dis a dis display model, but it still works. Same thing with the, with the video cards. I'm like, great. Can you also send me a pair of video cards? I want 980 Ti's. And they said, yeah, we have a couple of refurb models that have just come in on RMA. Would you be okay with those? I said, perfect. That's where those came. Some other companies wanted help, but they couldn't. So I called Intel and I said, hey, I'm building a new computer. The computer chip I have won't fit my new motherboard. Do you have one you can donate? And they said, we'd love to help. We don't have one. So I'm paying for that. Other things came in on a loan. Called some companies and I'm like, hey, I really want to do this thing. Can you help out? And they said, sure, we can loan you one. So this beautiful 21 by 9 ratio uh, X34 Predator here. It's a great gaming monitor. And everyone says like 21 by 9 curved monitors is the way to go for racing games. It's even better than a three monitor setup. 
So I thought, well, okay, let's try that. Called them up and they said, yes, we want to help. You can have it for 60 days, which is more than long enough for me to tell you guys everything you need to know about it. Came in the box with the return label already. As soon as I get done, goes back in the box, goes back to Acer. So that's how this entire project came together. I have some donations, I have some loans, and then I have to open my wallet for some of it. And I'm also gonna pilfer some pieces from my computer I already have, because some of that stuff's still good. We're gonna use my 4K monitor that I already own, my monitor keyboard, we're probably gonna use my water cooler. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use my power supply too. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up a new one of those yet or not. So like, I'm using my own money, and then some gifts, and then some loans. And that's just how it came together. So if anyone was worried about some sort of money exchanging hands that we're just not telling you about, that's not a thing. Now that's good for a couple of reasons. The main one being, I don't have to lie to you guys about anything. That's always the big concern, and I don't blame you guys. Like, that concerns me too. You know, I'm building this thing and I'm telling you guys this is the best way to do racing games. You don't want to be like, well, does he have to do that because he's paid to say that? Just like any time I see some basketball star talking about their new shoes, I'm like, yeah, but Nike paid you to say those shoes are awesome. They're still ugly as hell and you're still an idiot. That's not a thing here. I'm under no contract to say anything good or bad about any of these things. Just donations and loans, and that's all there is to it. So, yeah, that's basically how this whole thing happened. I got kind of drunk, drew it up in Photoshop, and then I said, I don't know if I can make it happen or not. Let's try. So there you guys have it, the story of how this project even came to exist, the story of where all the parts are coming from, and hopefully that answered any kind of questions you guys have. If it didn't, don't worry about it. You hit that forum thread and you start typing and I'll continue reading. If you don't want to do the forum thread, you can also hit the comments below this YouTube video and I read all of those as well. If you're interested in learning more about Project Stingray, just keep your eyes glued to Corvette Forum and this YouTube channel. We're going to be posting a bunch more videos and a bunch more write-ups about this stuff. Uh, next week, I plan on doing an overview of all the parts we actually have, so you can get a nice close look at everything we're using. I'm going to tell you why I'm using each one of those parts. Uh, after that, we're going to be doing a full build log, so I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to put it all together if you want to build one yourself. And then, like I said, we're going to do performance numbers for the various games and various monitor setups and VR headsets and that sort of stuff that are out there. So hang tight. Stick with me. I promise you guys I'll learn a lot, and I hope you find this stuff kind of cool. So again, I'm Christian Moe. Stay tuned to Corvette Forum to learn more about Project Stingray.